Hello and welcome to this special coverage of budget from the Financial Express. Finance Minister Arun Jaitley has to do a number of things in this year's budget when he presents it on February 29th in Parliament. The biggest reform which he has promised to the industry is reduction in corporate tax rate from 30% to 25% over four years time and he has to start this process this year. But the problem and the difficult area here is that this reduction has to be accompanied with a reduction or removal of exemptions, which industry is getting right now and which is an important part of industry's working. So when 30% to 25% reduction in corporate tax rate is done, you will also have a plan how the finance minister wants to reduce the exemptions over a period of four years or probably how he wants to phase out the exemptions over a period of time which he will suggest in the budget. So the biggest job of the finance minister would be to come out with a plan which would convince industry that yes, it is in its benefit because taking away exemptions has been a difficult and tough job in the past. So that plan would suggest that you will have a reform in taxation, corporate taxation, which over, a four, over the four years time will clean up the income tax system of exemptions as far as corporate tax is concerned. But simultaneously, once you reduce corporate tax rate for the corporates, there would be demand certainly or there would be expectation certainly from the individual taxpayer side that same kind of reforms would be done for personal income tax also. So in case of individual income tax, right now what you do is up to the income of rupees 2.5 lakh annually, the income is tax exempt. And from 2.5 lakh to 5 lakh, you pay 10% tax. From 5 lakh to 10 lakh, you pay 20% tax. And from 10 lakh onwards income, you pay 30% tax, which is the highest bracket. The problem is in that highest tax bracket. It has been seen that people suppress their income to be in the lower bracket because this 30% rate, which is the highest rate, kicks in at a very low income of rupees 10 lakh. So the DTC suggested this 30% bracket or 30% rate to begin from rupees 25 lakh income. But that DTC is now jumped. But there is a necessity to raise this higher bracket, which is rupees 10 lakh uh, income bracket for 30% tax to a higher level, probably to 20, 20 lakh rupees or 25 lakh rupees. So it would also be expected that if this reform also, which, which is the personal income tax reform also, is not uh, possible to begin from 2016-17, uh, then at least the finance minister would come out with a strategy, with a plan, which will say that he wants to do this thing also in this manner, which he did it in terms of corporate tax last year. So that is one expectation which we will have to fulfill. One more thing which you can do, which most probably he would like to do uh, in, 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 the, in the current financial year for the budget of our next financial year is that probably again he will raise the exemption limit. Right now what happens is 2 point, rupees 2.5 lakh it is tax exempt. And then there are various kinds of exemptions. So the total exemption limit goes to up to rupees 4.5 lakh. So probably there is a suggestion here that you met this exemption limit 5 lakh, rupees 5 lakh, up to rupees 5 lakh income, the, uh, the there would be no tax. So if you come out with this kind of an exemption limit, which is a composite exemption limit, then probably and, and announce this uh, restructuring of personal income tax slabs in the budget to be taken up uh, in the next few years onwards, then probably there will be some kind of solace for the individual taxpayers. But that's a tough job. That's a, that's a tough job, tough balancing act which the finance minister will have to do. On the expenditure side, there is a big burden which is lying there for the finance minister to take on the budget and which is that of uh, pay commission recommendation. The calculation is that the burden would be about 1.2 lakh crore. There is another burden of one rank, one pension scheme uh, from the army's side. So these are two burdens on the expenditure side which the government has to bear and uh, these are tough situations, these are tough uh, times for the economy when your taxes are not growing uh, the way it should and also the economy is not also growing uh, at a faster pace which is expected, which, which had been projected. So these are tough times. So finance minister will find it very, very difficult to finance these two burdens, pay commission burden and ORO burden in the budget. So probably, you know, there is a suggestion here that uh, 
he should not go for payment of or implementing the recommendation of pay, pay commission at one go. So probably a better idea would be to do it in a staggered manner by telling people that yes, these are tough times and we will be government is committed to implement pay commission recommendation, but that for the government it would not be possible to do it in one year, one go to implement all the recommendations. So maybe he will have to announce this also in the budget. But overall, this budget is going to be a very critical budget in terms of taxation reforms also and in terms of how he manages the fiscal situation.